are in Port McNeil where we did a quick little supply run and we are going to continue on the third leg of this adventure where we head up to Port Hardy. We're gonna explore San Joseph Bay, Cape Scott, and a few other places. And we can't wait to see these spots. These are some of the spots we've never visited before. And we have a very special birthday to celebrate this weekend as well. The weather is beautiful today. It's actually getting really warm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go find a lake and go for a swim. near Port Alice, camping on a lake, travel down another logging road, <laughs> extra bumpy. You know where's gonna hang out? Hey everyone, we didn't end up filming too much last night because our puppy in the back there decided to not feel so good. We weren't really exactly sure what was going on, but. Yeah, he was just whimpering a lot and had to go to the washroom a little bit, uh, but mostly whimpering. Um, we weren't sure if something was going on with his back legs just because his tail was kind of down. He looked like he had a little bit of a limp going on. And so we kind of just catered to him and just relaxed for the night that uh, we camped on this beautiful uh, lake this little campground here just outside of Port Alice and so we were up a little bit throughout the night with Diesel and <laughs> we went out together and you know had all the lights we had and bear base and everything just yeah. to let him do his thing and then we kind of got our sleep and then this morning he's feeling a little bit better it seems everything seems normal he's whimpering still a little bit but it's definitely way better than yesterday so we're relieved because you know he's he's our baby so we want to make sure he's okay and unfortunately yeah. you're in the bush and these things can happen and this happened when we were up in the Yukon last summer too he was having this like hyperventilating thing he was just breathing breathing really really off yeah um, in the middle of nowhere too. yeah so we don't know I mean there's there's so many things that it could have been uh, I mean the way we're looking at it is that he is better now and so mm -hmm. uh, it was just nice to actually just hang out last night and you know no uh, no screens or electronics or anything so yeah. we are gonna head out of this campground now and head into Port Alice and go check it out Thank you. Have a good day. Very happy we got you A&W. After <laughs> over a week of Alana talking about onion rings, we finally stopped at the A&W up north. And I just have this weird craving for onion rings right now. You know? So we just had some cucumber and apples. And now we're going to have some greens. <laughs> okay, here we go. three hours <laughs> and we are still driving to Cape Scott. It's been a very, very <laughs> bumpy ride in. You don't hear much <laughs> about how bad the drive is and 
Also, we don't have a vehicle that's really equipped for these back roads, but we've been putting it through hell and it's been doing awesome so far. <laughs> Can you still see me? We good? <laughs> yeah, the last 10, 15 kilometers or so have been painfully slow. The potholes are small craters in the ground. So I'm sure it's going to be worth it. We'll let you know once we get there. And I mean, we're still very happy to be out on the road enjoying this beautiful weather. But yes, the roads could be better. But hey man, that's just, it's the way of the roads. This is our first big road trip with the van that we just got just a little over a month ago. And so we're just trying to, you know, baby it a bit and keep her going as long as possible. Yeah. She's doing good. It's just, it is a very, very bumpy road. We were actually saying it's might be a little more intense than the Dempster Highway, which is a big statement. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely crossed our minds. Like there's some, there's some parts that are totally fine and then some that aren't. <laughs> and I was just saying like, you know, I see so many people share their experiences North Island and in Cape Scott and at the beaches here and that. I'm like, no one talks about like the road to get there. No one talks about it. So we're talking about it yeah. because you need to be prepared if you're doing this. Yeah. You need to be prepared because there's, there's active logging going on all the time. And then there's the big trucks. Then there's people like us just kind of passing through. So I feel like we're on a safari I, ride. Yeah. And like monkeys are gonna jump on the van <laughs> soon because it's so bumpy. Well, we're almost there, so we'll check in soon. <laughs> Walking down to the bay, we're right as we go. back up to the van and we're looking here and thinking why did we bring our backpacks to you know backpack in and set up the tent for the night because there's literally nobody here there's a couple people like camping but there's no one here we have pretty much everything you need except backpacks to carry it all in so it's not a really long hike to get in here, but still almost three kilometers to get to the beach when you don't have a bag to carry everything is probably a bit of a nuisance. We'll camp in the van tonight, and then tomorrow we'll just kind of lug our stuff to the beach because this place is pristine. Let's, I'm gonna be regretting it if we don't yeah. camp in the tent at least one night. But that sun is going down, so I think it's time to start heading back and find a spot to sleep tonight. Welcome to our humble little abode for the evening. As you can see, we have our Christmas lights on. Get the vibe going. Just about to have some supper. We're really tired from our day. Yeah, you don't really realize how taxing driving, just the simple task of driving really is until you do it for several hours throughout the day and do it on really rough roads. Actually, it's really fun, but yes, you're constantly gauging 
potholes and thinking and it's a lot of mental stress and yeah you don't realize how much it tuckers you out but then we did a nice little 6k walk in and out from san joseph bay yeah we're really glad we went down there we are parked up at a rec site just outside of cape scott park and yeah we're gonna eat and probably just chill for the rest of the evening because we got another big day tomorrow so we got to be up and ready for that Make sure to boil that up real good. How's it feel being done in your 20s? <laughs> it hasn't set in yet. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of different being like away for your birthday. Like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Hold on. Diesel agrees. Yeah, just like, I don't know, just you're doing what you want to do for yourself and for your birthday. Oh my god. Get out! Well, come here then. And I also think usually my birthday I like to like look nice and like put a nice outfit on, do my <laughs> hair, and I'm just like looking at myself. Like I was just peeing over there. I'm like, this is my, this is me. This is good. This, this is it. This is the ensemble. You're killing it. Because I'll, I'll, if I if it's there, I'll see it, yeah. but it's never there. Blueberries. <laughs> that river water was looking pretty still, so we're gonna let it boil for a couple minutes. Cheers to 30 years. Cheers. Ah. You like the cabin? Yeah. You like camping? Oh. We're a little unsure how this step is going to go tonight for Diesel because that is the vertical incline to get up to the loft. And <coughs> we have a little bed for him down here, but he always sleeps with us. So we'll see how that goes tonight. But we are very lucky to have this spot very cool here very cool what do you think best airbnb we've stayed at best airbnb yeah the best airbnbs are free mm -hmm. so originally we were looking for this place and i think we took the wrong trail we were in a different bay and finally we asked some people um where this place is and they were able to tell us and it was a different trail it was up the road a little bit we had just parked in the wrong spot but it's actually pretty easy to find I guess once you get <laughs> once you get someone to tell you where it is and I think the run reason one reason we didn't go up the other trail was because we had originally got down to the other bay and there was a big black bear across the sand like not that far but huh? he was a big boy and I saw him come up on his hind legs because he had caught wind of us and I kind of just waved my arms looked big and he didn't move he kind of just got back down and carried on with his business which is usually what they do, or they just tear off. I was trying to cross the river. Yeah. And they see you doing that. I'm like, well, am I good? Or do I need to like book it across the river? Yeah. It's like, it was a chaotic moment because yeah, we're trying to find ways to cross this river because the 
route to get us here we thought was on the other side of the river, which we were wrong. And so Elena's trying to cross the river. We've got Diesel. He's pulling on his leash. And I'm over on the other side and I see this bear and you can't really hear because the river is quite loud. And so I'm making my arms look big. I'm making a lot of movement. <laughs> Elena has no idea what's going on. Oh, yeah. That's always a way. Kyle always spots them out and I'm yeah. just like, what's going on? But anyways, <laughs> we're here and the bear is somewhere over there. <laughs> But I'm sure we will see. We've we've there's a little log book here and people have said they've seen wolves come out front. And we're in the spot to see these animals. I hope we see them, but from a distance, of course. Suck the person to your right. <laughs> place so cool it's really cool there's like you just tell like there's so many memories in here just everyone's like left something and there's a really cool uh, book here like people wrote note or written notes just about like their experience it's like a treasure on the edge of the ocean mm -hmm. it's really cool out here it's pretty awesome so we're gonna make up some potatoes cut up some pepper some lean ground beef whip it all up we brought our pan our sous mm -hmm. so let's make some dinner we're attracting every bear in the vicinity here it's nice to have this extra kitchen space because we cook cook inside, but we'd like to just, I think it's better to cook outside anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we definitely don't want to cook inside. We don't want the food inside, so we'll just clean up out here, mm -hmm. finish cooking. Like, you don't realize how rugged this landscape is till you're actually out in it. Like, just being right on the coast, being right on the ocean here, it's it's so amazing. I still can't get over it, really. I mean, it's always cool being somewhere you've never been before, right? And yeah, going to the places not many people can go, or not many people do go, I think that's the most special thing about it. Yeah, yeah, there aren't as many like resources up this way anyway but it's a nice place to come check out and explore and just experience it because this yeah. is this is it this is what it's all about right yeah. here i think it's time for dessert <gasps> yes, we got some cake to eat Be completely honest, I had no idea you liked coconut cream pie. I've never seen you eat it, talk about it. <laughs> I used to work at a retirement home, and on Sundays they served pie, and one of the pies was a coconut cream pie, and I really enjoyed it. 
That's probably the only time I've ever had it, so I haven't had this in actual like in years. Mm -hmm. But I know I enjoy it. morning waking up to the crashing ocean waves this guy was excited to see us in the morning because he had to sleep down here it broke our hearts a little bit because he always sleeps in bed with us but he did okay he was really excited to see us he was like up on his hind legs <laughs> and like bouncing bouncing down. around <laughs> yeah yeah it's nice we just kind of had a slow morning got up had some coffee read a little bit wrote a little entry note in the book for all the guests that stay here. Just kind of enjoying the moody, rainy morning here. Sadly, we didn't see any wolves last night or this morning. There was a few entries in that log book where people have stayed and said they saw either bears or wolves walk right in front of the cabin. But that's okay. That just means we gotta come back again and check it out another time. All in all, this was a really awesome place to stay for our last night on this 10 day adventure. Really special place, exploring all of Vancouver Island, starting off in Victoria and then making our way through the Pacific Marine Highway, checking out Souk, Port Renfrew, making our way back up to Mid Island and then ultimately making it to the very top, the very north part of the island here in Cape Scott. So we had an amazing time and we thought we would tackle off a good chunk of our list, but the list just keeps growing. The more people we meet, the more recommendations we get, the list just keeps growing. So we're just gonna have to do more trips like this and check out all these new spots in the future. It is time for us to trek back to the van, get everything packed up and make the journey home. So I made the executive decision to wear my hiking boots out of here. Yesterday I had to walk across a river and I totally got soaked. This is when we saw that bear. <laughs> so it's kind of like, okay, I just need to cross the river. And so they're soaked and had them outside last night and it did rain a little bit, so they're like extra wet. The worst feeling in the world. Ugh. Top 10 at least. Just like soggy feet. Oh my God. But we have a short hike out of here, so it'll all be fine. <laughs> Somehow 10 days on the road just doesn't seem like enough. Although we're dirty, haven't had a proper shower in 10 days, uh, we still feel like we could keep on going. And that is the goal one day, to be able to fund more of these trips for longer and really get out there and experience what this beautiful place has to offer. The van had a great maiden voyage. She held up very well. Going down these really bumpy logging roads that it's really not designed to do, but it did awesome. Also, we're looking forward to bringing you guys more updates on the van build, so stay tuned for that as well. Until next time, again, thank you to all those that watch these videos. If you made it to this point, please consider subscribing. Help us reach that goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. You guys have a great week and we will see you in the next one. Bye.